What is going on you guys? Gabriel Figueroa here with a new video. Today's video, we're gonna talk about iPhone 12 rumors. I will be covering the biggest rumor regarding the release of the iPhone 12. So take every rumor that I say with a pinch of salt. Over this year's iPhone 12 lineup, I will leave my sources in the description below. This year in 2020, they will be releasing four iPhones. There will be a 5.4, 6.1, and 6.7 inch. Wait. Yeah, Google? Why are they making two 6.1 inch iPhones? It's funny you ask that, Google, because one of them is going to be a higher model with three cameras and an OLED display. The other one is gonna have two cameras with a slightly lower display. i.4 inch iPhone will be the smallest iPhone ever released since the iPhone SE. Let me let me get the SE for comparison. Ah, oh, look, this is the this is the iPhone SE in comparison. This is how small the phone. This, this is a 4.7 inch iPhone. So imagine the iPhone 12. 6.7 inch iPhone will be the largest iPhone ever. <laughs> iPhone 11 Pro Max is already 6.5 inch. Talk about the design of the iPhone 12. The iPhone 12 will be changing their design since the iPhone 10. Instead of rounded stainless steel where like it fits your palm, they're gonna have stainless steel, but like, like this, a metal frame around it. Example from the metal frame is the iPad Pro. The Pro has like literally a metal frame, literally like a block, like the iPhone 4. It's pretty much gonna be holding like an iPhone 4. So the rumor that has been going around a lot is Apple switching to USB-C. Now sadly, I don't think Apple is going to switch to USB-C, plainly because they make so much money from their lightning ports. Talking about chargers, headphones. Another rumor that's been going around is Touch ID. Touch ID ever make their return? As if, if Apple is working on an under display fingerprint scanner, just like Samsung did on their S10 and S20 and the Note. Every company has done an under display fingerprint scanner. LG, OnePlus. It is rumored that it might not come in this year's iPhone, but in 2021. Now let's go over the pricing. I think it's pretty much the biggest factor of the iPhone, pretty much they all got a surprise when they lowered the price back $50 for the iPhone 11, but this year's, it might be different. A list by the name of Jeff Poo believes that the iPhone 12 will start above $50, so the iPhone 12 5.4 inch will start at $749, which in turn will make the 6.1 inch start at $800 or $850. Most of the rumors say the pricing of the iPhone will not increase $50, it will actually go lower than $50, so the 5.4 inch will be $649. 6.1 inch lower model iPhone will be $749. iPhone 12 Pro will be $1,000. The Pro Max will be $1,100. Now let's end this video with the big rumor for this iPhone. That the iPhone 12 will not ship with the power adapter and the ear pods. Wait, that's stupid. How? How the hell am I supposed to charge the phone? Plug it to my ass. Whoa, hey, 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 hey. Look at this at a better way. Then half the people buys a new iPhone every year. Already own one before. If you're upgrading from an Android, uh, not and if you're upgrading from an Android, you probably have an adapter at home. Maybe Apple might lower the price because they don't have to include the adapter and the headphones. Okay, dumbass, what about headphones? Okay, relax. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, they really messed up there. Um, I think they should include the headphones. Because now they're just pushing everyone to buy AirPods. I bought the new iPhone 12 to like have a discount on the headphones or like he on AirPods. You guys have it. Those are all the biggest rumors so far for this year's iPhone 12. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. I post tech reviews, tips and tricks, and tech news like this one every Wednesday and Friday. If you're already down there subscribing for me, leave a like and comment down below what feature do you want the iPhone 12 to have. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you around. Peace.